A senior Naxal leader has surrendered before police along with 60 carders in Maharashtra. Noida-based IG Drones has successfully tested its Striker FPV drone in high-altitude trials. The armies of India and Australia inaugurated the fourth edition of Exercise Austrohend in Perth. India has issued a fresh notification on 14 October that has officially cancelled the planned hypersonic missile test scheduled between 15 to 17 October. Prime Minister Modi has announced that India will launch a capacity building program for Mongolia's border security forces to enhance their training and operational skills. The French army has expressed interest to procure pinnacle rocket systems, loitering munitions and anti-drone systems from India, which has already been demonstrated to French officials. Contrary to earlier reports, the first two Tejas Mark 1A jets are not being inducted into the Indian Air Force on 17 October, instead, the date will mark the first flight of the first Tejas Mark 1A produced at HAL's third production line in Nasik. A senior Indian Air Force officer has clarified that the plan to procure five more Russian S-400 regiments will not affect funding or timelines for DRDO's Project KUSA long-range surface-to-air missile system. The DRDO is developing a surface wave over the horizon radar that can detect ships' submarines and low-flying aircraft up to 500 kilometers away. Field trials are planned in Gujarat for 2026, followed by integration into the Indian Navy's Integrated Air Command and Control System. The DRDO is developing an all-electric gun control system for India's future main battle tanks, replacing traditional hydraulic drives and trials of the all-electric gun control system are targeted for early 2026. The system enables faster turret rotation, precise aiming, and 40% lower maintenance, even in high-altitude or desert conditions. Two top government panels will assess the seven shortlisted public and private firms for prototyping flight testing and certification of India's AMCA stealth fighter jet. The dual stage evaluation will begin with the audio experts, and concluding with a defense secretary-led panel, which will determine key industry partners for the 15,000 crore rupees initial full-scale engineering development of AMCA. ANI has reported, that the DRDO will extend the range of its 160 km range Astra Mark II beyond visual range air-to-air -air missile to over 200 km. The report also mentions that a proposal is under discussion with the Defence Ministry, for the acquisition of about 700 Astra Mark II missiles for integration on the Su-30 and Tejas fighter jets. However, it could also be a preemptive narrative positioning effort by DRDO, signalling a range extension narrative, even when the 160 km range Astra Mark II has not achieved full operational maturity. The range extension narrative could also be aimed at diverting attention from forthcoming evaluations of the 220 km range Mach 6 Russian R-37M hypersonic air-to-air -air missile and Mach 5.5 Israeli Sky Sting hypersonic air-to-air -air missile. Chennai-based Tato Patterns has offered its Hawkeye 900 Gallium Nitrite-based Acer radar to the Indian Navy, as a plug-and-play upgrade for the MiG-29K fighter jets. It features 900 gallium nitride transmit receive modules and a 70 to 100 degrees repositioner, delivering 25% higher range, power efficiency, and thermal resilience. Today's top 3 comments. Thank you.